In this tutorial, we'll be comparing Sophie versus Acorns. So let's get started. Choosing between Sophie and Acorns depends on your experience level and investing goals. Here's a breakdown to help you decide. So let's go ahead and look over the pros of Sophie and then let's look over the cons. So let's go ahead and write in pros and let's get started. Now the first pro is that it is free to use and that there is no account minimums, no management fees, and no commission fees. So free to use because there is no commission, management, and account minimum fees. So you don't need a minimum balance. Okay. So that's our first pro. So let's look at the second one, which is more hands-on investing. It allows you to choose your own investments, for example, stocks, ETFs, crypto, or use their robo-advisor. So second one is more hands-on investing. All right. Our next pro is that there are additional financial products. So they offer checking and savings account, student loan refinancing, and more. So there are additional financial products. Okay, and then we have access to human financial advisors. So you can talk in Lear real time to other people. So access to human advisors. Okay, so that is it for the pros. Now let's go ahead and look over the cons, okay? So I'm going to type the cons right here at the bottom. So our first con is that it is less beginner friendly. The wider range of features can be overwhelming for new investors. So less beginner friendly. Our second con is that there is no roundup investing feature like Acorn spare change investment. All right. So I'm just going to write that down. No roundup investing feature unlike acorns so now let's go ahead and move over to acorns and look at its pros and cons so let's start with the pros the first pro we have is that it is beginner friendly so beginner friendly now how is it beginner friendly because it is straightforward interface with robo advisor and automatic investing so that why it's beginner friendly. The second one is it's round up invest, round up investing. So you can invest your spare change from everyday purchases to maximize growth. And now there is another advantage which is Acorns later. Now they offer retirement accounts as well. So that is one of the advantage. So offer retirement accounts or you can say i r is okay and next we have acorns family so it allows investing for minors for a five dollar monthly fee so allows minors to invest basically children you could say or under 18 for a $5 monthly fee. Okay, and now that is it for the pros. Let's go ahead and look over the cons of Acons. So our first con we have is that there are limited investment options, okay? So limited investment options. So it primarily focuses on pre-built portfolios with EFTs, okay? So limited investment options. And then they have a monthly fee of $1. It's not really big, but still monthly fee is monthly fee. So monthly fee of $1. All right, so that is the overview of both the 
platforms. Now here's a quick recommendation. Now choose SoFi if you're comfortable with some self-directed investing and want a wider range of financial products under one roof. Choose Acons if you're a new investor who wants a simple automated way to start investing and like the idea of Roundup investing. So alright guys, that'll be it for the video. I hope it helped you out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.